What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a split cup pour with this three chambered split cup using the colors fluorescent orange, a dark violet, and some titanium white. Now there's tons of bubbles in all my paints right now because I just mixed them up because I had this idea for colors in my head and I just wanted to do it. So there's tons of colors or tons of uh, bubbles in these paints. So I apologize in advance. I am going to split these two colors, so I'm going to start layering this now. I think I just poured a giant clump into there. No. I hope not. I don't even think it'd be possible to fish it out at this point. I don't know. Nope. I mean, I'll have to pick it out. Dang, that's no fun. Okay. But the white in the in the orange or the uh, violet and the orange might not play well together. So I'm layering the cup so the white is between them. So maybe that'll help stop them from mixing too much with each other. This is gonna be a straight pour with like kind of a twist to it. Super excited about these colors. I've used them once before, but never like this. So. How is everybody doing today? Let me find somewhere to prop my arm because it's going to take a minute. A little bit of cat hair there. Whoops. All right. And let's get all the colors coming, please. All right. We're just a nice stream there. Ooh, these colors are really nice together. We're just gonna do kind of a Fibonacci spiral. That might have been that clump of white that I couldn't get out earlier. Hope not. Every so often, changing directions kind of add a different dimension to the, the artwork. I love how really, really bright that fluorescent orange is right now with that purple or I should say, with that violet. So I'm just trying to keep my hand steady, slowly tilting the cup, and just letting the paint flow. I've always liked doing these split cup pours because you get some really cool lines and textures within your artwork that you can't really get. It, well, you can, it's just a lot more difficult to get those kind of results with uh, separate cups, like a kiss pour or whatever. I know I'm using too much paint for this canvas, but I do want to be able to stretch it. And I don't want to have to have a whole bunch of extra paint to come off the canvas. I don't want to add a bunch of extra paint to the sides. I do want this to continue to just grow from the center. Now the part I found the most challenging with this kind of a pour is stopping that stream. So you don't mess up the center. I've tried before having you know, really slowing down the stream to the point where I can try to catch that last drip, but there's always like that one drip that continues. So as you see, I'm just changing direction every so often, varying up the pattern, creating different looks, kind of drawing the eye to different parts of this artwork. Yeah, I'm really shocked at how good these colors go together. It's looking really good, guys. Really good. Change directions again. And maybe I'll just let it actually flow for a little while. Vary that pattern even more. Having some nice color separation there, and then we'll change it up again. 
That's beautiful. Creating that spiral. A very, very thin stream of paint folding those colors over each other. That looks so nice. All right, we're gonna change it up again. And you can vary the speed that you spin to create different things. I'm gonna try to stop it. Here, I'm just gonna put my hand in front of it. That's like the best way that I've found to, to really stop it. So I know we have enough paint, but I also know that the hardest part to cover is gonna be these sides. So I should grab a, a little bit of white paint that I've already gotten kind of mixed out of my giant jug of paint. I know I said I didn't want to do this, but I will. This is the same white paint that I used in the center. Bubbles and all. But Yeah, I didn't want to do this in the beginning, but then now that I look at it, I don't want everything rolling under. All right, I think that looks almost right in the middle. So I'm gonna start. You guys ready? Here we go. Oof, look at that. Now that is very cool looking. I love that, wow. Let me get me a little stick to stop this from turning here. Well, we got a little bit here that didn't get covered, so I still have a little white paint. I don't want to have to spin it too much. But let's get all four corners good and covered. And I'm gonna have to spin it again to get that white to come off, so one, Nice little spin should be enough. And there we go. Wow, that actually opened it up. I think I like it better this way. It, that looks so interesting. Wow, look at those colors. Well, let me bring you guys down. We're gonna check this thing out. Dang. Got some really awesome, sharp, defined lines. I really love how out towards the edges, the angle's kind of skewed, so it's not completely symmetrical. And we still got a little drip in the center, as you can see. But I was telling you, that's the hardest part. We got a lot of cool stuff going on here. I can't wait to see this one dry. This thing dried really well. All the nice, sharp lines are very well defined. I really love these two colors together. There's no cracking, no crazing, no real even texture from the drying process. It's absolutely stunning, I love it. If you wanna watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.